Welcome back, family. First and foremost, I would like to wish you a happy and late New Year. I want to start my new and fresh year on YouTube off with a bang, and I've wanted to make this video for quite some time, actually. I just really haven't found a good time to do it, but I just got done doing this for a client, actually, so I thought I'd go ahead and film it while I have all of my supplies out. So today, we are going to learn how to convert really any type of tape into digital. Don't get me wrong, I love tape as much as the next guy. I think it looks super cool. I love the aesthetic of it, especially these days. It's coming back like crazy, but it is really a dying breed as far as like players, camcorders, VCRs and stuff goes. You're running out of options to really be able to view that media. I really want more people to do this because so many of us, especially us 90s babies, 80s babies, have lots of our childhood and lives documented on VHS tape. I know that I do. And it's really important to be able to get that stuff like on a cloud, like somewhere like Google Drive or Dropbox, or even just on your phone, to be able to share with your family and view anytime, rather than having to dust off the old VCR or plug in a camcorder to view it. And honestly, on top of everything else, this is just really, really simple to do once you have what you need. The first thing you're going to need is a capture card. And this is what's going to allow our computer to see the footage from our VCR or camcorder or wherever we're pulling our image from. These can get really expensive really fast depending on your use case. I have what's called the VidBox 9.0, I'm pretty sure. I don't have the box for it anymore. But I bought this before I really knew what I was doing. And it comes with its own software and interface and all that. And we don't use any of that. I'll show you what we're going to use here in a second. But I paid like $80 for this and it's a bit overkill. Amazon has a couple that are like 20 bucks or so. And really all you need is just to be able to have one end that plugs into the computer and another end that accepts the audio video cables from your camcorder. I will say though, the VidBox has done very well for me, even though it was a little bit pricey, in my opinion, it's totally worth it to be able to kind of bring all these tapes back from the dead. So it's really up to your discretion. If you wanna go with one of the cheaper ones on Amazon or eBay, you totally can. But I will say a pro of the VidBox is, although we're not using the software, if you don't really like my way of doing it, you do have the software to fall back on that is like truly dummy proof that is designed for the average Joe off of the street to be able to do this with no problem. The second thing you're going to need is an audio video cable and you might have one of these very well laying around in your house, in your attic or garage, maybe your parents' house that you can dust off. If not, it's all good. They're super affordable. You can go grab one at Walmart or off of Amazon and really you're gonna need one of two different types for the most part. If you're doing it via VCR, just converting a regular VHS tape, and keep in mind, you can convert all of your old movies that you have on VHS as well, so long as you own them, they are your property, and you don't intend to redistribute them. The first type of cable is going to be your average regular audio video cable where you have the red, white, and yellow on both sides. And the second type of cable is going to be where you have the red, white, and yellow inputs on one side. And then on the other side, you have like a three and a half millimeter headphone jack style cable that plugs into some camcorders. You're only really gonna need that cable if you have a specific type of camcorder. Some camcorders take them, some camcorders take the more traditional cables. It all just depends. You're gonna have to look at what you have and kind of see. The third thing you're going to need is a way to play your tape, whether that's a VCR for standard size tapes or a camcorder for things like mini DV, high eight, eight millimeter or VHS C. This is one of the parts that may bog some people down because you may not have just a VCR or a camcorder laying around, but do some kind of asking around family and friends or just go on eBay and Google the type of camcorder you need or just a basic VCR. Even at Goodwill, I found several of my camcorders at Goodwill in working condition. So really you just gotta put in some legwork here if you don't want to pay somebody to do this. And then fourth and finally, you have OBS, a free software for your computer that you'll have to download and I will leave a link for that in the description. OBS is honestly such an amazing and expansive piece of software that you can really do a whole lot more than just this with down the road. And it really has no business being free to be honest with you, but like good people, we're going to appreciate that and take advantage of it. Once you download, install, and then open OBS, it may look a little bit intimidating, but do not worry, do not fret. I'm gonna guide you through it. It's like literally something like 10 clicks to get all this set up and you're done. Very quickly, before we dive directly into OBS, I did wanna show you the basics of hooking everything up. So no matter which type of cable you have, you'll always have at least one side that has the yellow, white, and red connectors. And I've just got them plugged directly into the vid box. No matter what type of capture card you get for this, you'll always have a spot to plug these three in. And then the other end, depending on what you have, 
For this one, I've got the little three and a half millimeter jack, and I just have to find the spot to plug it in on the camcorder. On this particular camcorder and on a lot of camcorders that I've had and used over the years, most of the time it's going to be under some kind of plastic flap like this. So if I move this little flap, you will see the little hole right there that says AV. And I just plug that jack directly into there. So I just insert my plug right into here and we're ready to go. Here's another type of camcorder I have. And in this case, under the plastic door, we have the connectors. And this one actually doesn't have a red connector, but it's all good. It's all gonna work the same. Just plug in what we have. And again, we're ready to go. This is gonna be the case for the VCRs as well. Pretty much all VCRs are gonna have these types of inputs and it's gonna work just like this. As far as plugging the capture card in, it's really just plain and simple. I plug my power cable in that came with it. And then from there, I hook that into a dongle because I'm living that MacBook life right now. And then it is connected. We've got the blue light right here to show that it is turned on and we are ready to convert. Okay, so now that we have everything plugged in and ready to go, it is time to build out our scene and sources within OBS. So if we open OBS, you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner, the scenes panel. You may already have a scene created. If so, move on to the next step. But if not, just hit the plus and create a new scene. Name it whatever you want. I already have one, so I'm not gonna make another one. I'm gonna hit cancel. And from there, you just need a scene before you can add any sources. That's all that, that's all that means. So we'll go to sources next down here, right next to scenes and hit the plus and go to video capture device. And I like to name this something relevant, so we're just gonna call it camcorder. And if I go to device, we'll see vidbox. You may see whatever your device is, whatever the random name it may be. So we're just gonna click that and you will see my camcorder that is in play mode right now with a tape in it, ready to convert. That is a ornament with a picture of me in it when I was like three or four. So. Now you know what I look like as a young child. Then for the preset, we're just gonna use the auto select 640 by 480. So we're just gonna hit okay. And if it for whatever reason doesn't fit or if the canvas looks wider or whatever, you just right click and you can click over here where it says resize output source size. And that'll automatically scale things how it's supposed to be. So our next step is going to be the same sources panel, we're gonna click the plus again and go to audio input capture. And again, I wanna name it something relevant, but we can't use the same name twice. So I'm just gonna call this camcorder audio. And for device, we're just gonna select the vid box once again. We only have one more step to go before we can actually start converting the tape. And that's basically just creating a path for the video file to end up at so that we don't lose it somewhere in the bottomless pit of our files. So we're gonna go over here in the bottom right corner to settings and then output. And then over here under the recording panel, we're gonna to go to recording path and browse. I've already set mine up, but basically I go to documents, tape recordings, you can hit wherever you want it to go on your computer and then just hit open. And then the only other thing you really need to worry about here is your file type. Um, I like to use MP4. With tapes, it's one of those things you're not gonna notice a resolution, file size difference, whatever. It's a tape, it looks like crap, it's supposed to look like crap. So I just do MP4. Keep in mind if you do record MP4, if the tape, is, if the recording is interrupted for whatever reason, the software will not recover the whole thing. Uh, that's one of the warnings it gives you down here in yellow. Basically, MP4 is not a supported file type for recovering if it fails. I'm not really worried about that with tapes. And as far as recording quality, you can go high quality or indistinguishable. I normally just leave it here and then just hit OK. One final thing to pay attention to before we actually hit record is making sure that your audio levels are in a good spot. So we see over here my camcorder audio under my audio mixer. This is the audio that I created from my input. And basically if we hit play, you'll see your audio levels. And I've got mine jacked all the way up right now. You're gonna wanna put this somewhere in like the middle or just where you're seeing the levels kind of hit a nice place so that you don't have a headache in post if you wanna clip it or anything. Make sure your sound isn't too blown out. You will also want to pay attention to any other audio sources that you have inside of your mixer. Pretty much what I do with anything else that I don't want to hear is I just turn it all the way down, make sure that they're both down and I mute them. I hit the little horn right here and mute it. And after that, we just hit record and then play on our camcorder or VCR and you let it roll through. That is the one kind of tedious part about this whole thing is that you kind of just have to let the tape play through. These are not digital files. These are not like DVDs or anything like that. You can't just copy them or burn them and rip them. Uh, you kind of just have to let them play out. And 
it's a pain, but it's one of those things that it's really not that big of a deal. And you can get a cup of coffee, you can go watch a movie and it'll be done quick enough. And then make sure you hit stop recording when it's done, when it's on a blue screen or whatever. And then you can go to your path that you set and it's all here. So I really hope that was easy and simple enough. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Please feel free to let me know if you got confused at any point. I'd be happy to help. And let's move over to the outro. And that's really it. It's just that easy. And now you have the tools and the knowledge that you need going forward to convert tapes for family and friends, for yourself, whatever the case may be. I'm super excited to be back and making new videos for the new year. Let me know what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, welcome, get comfy, hit the like, hit the subscribe, get notified for future uploads. I really appreciate all you guys for tuning in. I plan to go super hard this year and I can't wait to make more. Let me know if you guys want more tutorial based videos like this. I know that I have some people that really enjoy the tutorials type stuff that I do and I'm happy to make more. So feel free to drop a comment below, kind of let me know what you want to know. And if I can't make a video about it, maybe I can just talk to you and discuss it in the comments and we'll figure something out. Never forget that you are blessed and you are loved. And as always, I'll be back soon. This film was directed by me. Good night. Mm -hmm.